So I'm off on an adventure from our house down there at the Huntfontein Retreat, following the Blue Lizard Trail up into the mountains, follow the blue dots to the top of the mountain for sunset. Spot the solar panels. There they are. Off good power rules. Rules. So this guy just jumped out at me and said hello to my leg. Sure. This place is ridiculously beautiful. Rock pools up there. We swam a few days up that ravine. Swam up there a few days ago. This looks like a good spot to do to bench press. <laughs> bench pressed. I guess if I follow Tumbleweed Trail, it will take us back to our house that's down there that has that view and that dam to swim in. With the terrapins! Terrapins glow in there. We never caught one. So the goal is to get to the top of that hill and then get to the top of that hill and then get to the top of that hill. Finally the top of that hill over there so that I can watch the sunset to the west and look down on this valley to the east at sunset time. I assume this fencing contraption means we are at the top of hillock number one. Oh, breathing heavy. Oh, yeah, sorry for that background noise. It is such a beautiful view. Oh, and there's the path over the hillocks all the way. No time for more bench presses. We're racing the clock to get to over there. Let's go, go, go. If I'm en route on this trail, does that mean I'm an entrail? Green lizards. No, thank you. Green lizards take me up there somewhere. Whereas I want to be up there somewhere to watch that sunset. The color is coming. That's what I'm talking about. Sun breaking out from behind the clouds with a few sunbeams on the mountains. We're going to watch that puppy set. Someone made this a little too steep for my liking when you're going at this sort of speed. Whew! Almost there. So I actually thought that hillock was the highest point because we were there a couple of days ago, but where I am now, standing here, is the highest point. Don't laugh at the socks. Socks will stop bugs biting me. Well, that's where we're staying, down in the valley there, in that house, swimming in that dam. Woo-hoo! But what we came for is on the other side, the other side over here, because I think we're going to look here and watch the sunset from here. The color in the sky, the sun, that pretty animal is hiding behind there somewhere and color already forming back there. We're going to see this puppy go down. So I came fully equipped for this expedition. Let's see what we got. Got water, you know, for thirst. Camera, like as a backup. Uh, warm top, yeah, because it could be cold on the way down. <gasps> What's this? Howling owl gin. Oh! And some way there's tonic. For a moment I was quite worried because I mean I had the howling, howling owl gin and the ice bucket. I was like, what did I do with that tonic water? Because coming all up there without tonic. And of course I remembered that. I packed the tonic waters with the ice. How smart. Time for the first beverage, me thinks. I fear I may be defeated by the cloud cover that snuck in while I was climbing. Although there is a smidgen of color over there. So maybe the color is still coming. Um, I'm probably going to be climbing down in the rain, which not my favorite thing in the world, but hey, this for you. So I've enjoyed my two beverages while waiting for <laughs> what looks like a non appearing sunset due to this very ominous cloud that has really moved in and probably going to rain on me on my way down. Um, but I'll give it a few more minutes to see if there can't be a little bit more color in the sky. It's still amazingly beautiful to look down this valley. So there's a little bit of a smidgen of color, which is really pretty, a little bit of pastel. The sun has definitely gone down behind the mountains there, but it's still amazingly beautiful to be looking down this valley while admiring.
even this little bit of color in the sky. The wind is picking up. Time to go. Ha! Another bench. I could have had this bench all to myself in the howling gale, drinking howling gin while watching a howling sunset. Not really howling. So here we are approaching the homestead. Last little steps of the trail. It's been fun. It's been really fun. And I'll take one last stop at the dam. Can't really see in the darkness, but you can see the mountain reflection. I don't see no terrapins tonight. Well, that's all folks. Have a wonderful last day of Easter. Almost back at the homestead.